Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. APC will sue Zamfara government for intimidating party members. Oshomole. APC National Chairman Comrade Adam Oshomole has issued a warning to those oppressing APC members due to information he received from members of the party in Zamfara State. APC chairman in Abuja received a petition on the alleged harassment of APC members in Zamfara State to join the ruling PDP in the state. The chairman has received a petition alleging that members of the APC were being harassed. I have taken note of your pain, particularly in respect of our brothers and sisters, Adams Oshomole said. Well, uh, Adams Oshomole is at it again. Like you know, he's the um, national chairman of APC and he has received a, mess a news a message, a petition from um, Zamfara State that um, APC members were being harassed. That... Um, APC members are being harassed by the PDP in the state, you know, and um, he's taking it on board and he's going to sue them. Yeah, that's what's comrades, the comrades. That's what he does. You know, as the national chairman, he's taking the complaint on board and he's pledging to act on it immediately to get this issue resolved. You know, it's only in Nigeria that we have deflectors where you have people moving from one party to the other because of their selfish gain and interest. In the first place, it goes to show you that they never believed in the party. There was no... These people, you should know that they are not loyal people. No. And they don't have the interest of any of the... Any, they don't have the interest of Nigeria at heart, of their community, their state, or their locality. There is no such um, allegiance. No, no such thing. These people are just for their belly and their pockets, as you can see. Um, in America, you don't have the Republican deflecting to the to the um, to the um, what's it called? Um, you know, deflecting to the other one. Those are the two main parties in uh, America. In the United Kingdom, you don't have the conservative going to the um, other side as well. You know, it's it's only in Nigeria you have deflectors. It's only in Nigeria who never believed in the party. Recently, in the in the UK, we have the. Yeah, in America, you don't have the Democrat becoming Republican or the Republican become Democrat. No. They believe in the cause. They fight for it. They hold on to it. They give their life for it. They support the cause. They, they, they spearhead every mission of the, of the party to see to it that it sees the light of day. Yes, that's, the, that's American for you. In the UK as well, you don't have the conservative becoming... You don't have the labor deflecting to conservative and you don't have the conservative de deflecting to labor. Recently, uh, in, the, in, the country, in, a, in a country like the United, uh, United, uh, United Kingdom, the, there, was, there was election and the conservatives stayed true to their cause. They did not deflect to, uh, uh, um, to the Labour Party. Rather, the Labour deflect to conservative. You know, conservatives even won, most, won some of Labour seats, but Labour members stayed true to their cause. They sat together, had a meeting. What, what did we do wrongly that made us lose some of the, some of the communities and the, and the neighborhood that we had? What went wrong? They sat down because I followed their politics thoroughly and totally. They sat down and they had a sober reflection. Does it mean we have to change our party leader? Does it mean we have to put strategy in place or looked at what, look at what the youth want? Do we have to change our model of memorandum? Do we need to consider what the people are saying? These are some of the questions they ask themselves so that when there is the opportunity for another election, they don't do badly like they did in uh, this very election that just passed. So my people, so my people, this is what is going on. Other nations where the democracy is it's key and paramount, people don't behave this way. They don't, they don't, they don't, uh, they don't deflect anyhow or just go around and say, I'm leaving from labor to conservative or conservative. You don't hear it. It's never done. 
If you are conservative, oh, you are all true to the cause. It doesn't matter if you have two party members or ten party members. If you are a labor member, you stay through to your cause. It's only in Nigeria that they go for fair weather treatment. It's only in Nigeria that you see that they are looking at, uh, oh, it's only in Nigeria that you see that they are looking at, oh, my, uh, uh, this party is doing well. Uh, this one will pay, give me more money. Let me move to this party. Or this party looks like it's more for now. This is the reigning party. And they move. But you can tell that the motive and the, all the intent is money. It's not driven. It's not people driven. It's not love driven. It's not uh, priority driven. It's not change di driven. So that's it. That you can see that is a government for the belly. And... Um, they are not even encouraging themselves to do the right thing. Just wait till PDP take over from APC because definitely with the attitude and behavior insecurity in the country, APC will fall. It's not a, it's not a cause. It's not a, it will fall. And um, I'm not saying PDP will take over, but a more determined uh, a party that is ready to take Nigeria forward will, will come on board. It might not be popular now, but something good is coming for the country. You know? So... You don't see them deflecting or, and uh, you look at the APC uh, congratulating and making it as a boast that people are deflecting from PDP to APC. Have you checked the motive? Have you checked the people coming? What is their precedent? What are their achievements? Who are they? Are they going to make your party better or is it a game of numbers? Oh, Nigerians, we need to wake up from this childish kindergarten play that we call politics. It's going nowhere if we continue like this. The country is not going to advance or move forward with this kind of attitude or uh, one person looking at the other and saying, I'm better than you, you know. Buhari is a critical example, a total and a complete failure of what Nigeria has become. And nobody is saying anything because it's their party, you know. Those that should speak up are not. They are all saying it's our party. And so even if he, even if he, he sits on a human ahead, to eat and drink is okay because it's our party member. Can you see what is going on? That is exactly what Nigeria has become. That is exactly what Nigeria has become. There is no, there is no love for the nation. There is no honesty and truth to the people to say, you know what, let's make Nigeria better. There is no, there is no loyalty, you know, to, to see to it that Nigeria become a great nation. Since independence, what has happened? Since independence, what, what can you say exactly has happened in Nigeria that has moved Nigeria forward? What exactly has happened? Can you point to a few things that have happened? Rather than Nigerian government oppressing, oppressing the, rather than Nigerian government oppressing the, the indigenous people of Brafia, the, the Igbos, marginalizing the Southeast, what else has happened in the nation? That's the kind of nation that we have. That's the kind of country that we have. That is Nigeria for you. So, my people, I just want to say here that um, whatever is going on, please don't allow anybody make you not do the right thing. You have a voice. Please use it. One of the ways you can use your voice is by subscribing, like, share, click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the nations of the world. You know what they try to do? They try to make you feel like you don't have a voice. Your voice does not count. But that's a lie. That's not true. You have a voice and your voice counts. Please use your voice. Don't allow anybody, don't allow anyone make you feel like you don't have a voice. You do have a voice. You are relevant and you have a voice. Please use it. Speak up for Nigeria. Speak up for the people of the country. Don't allow the, the, the government to oppress you and to make you feel like, uh, oh, the, the internet is not in the internet. That's not true. Look at what happened in the case of Shore. It was the internet that brought the, 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 the uh, nations of the world to know exactly what was going on in Nigeria and they intervened. So my people, the world has become a global village. So you not, uh, uh, you not, uh, you not uh, uh, speaking up, you're not helping, you're not doing anything, you're not, you're not helping the matter. So my people, please speak up for what is right. Kick against evil in the community. Don't allow uh, the government to, to just oppress you. No, don't allow them. Don't allow what is going on to make you feel like uh, the country, is, it's, it's, uh, nothing is happening. A lot of evil is going on in the country. Don't allow them intimidate you or quench your voice. You have a voice. Please use it. Speak up for Nigeria. 
I want to say a big thank you to all of you out there listening. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. We're here to keep you up to date with all that is going on in Nigeria and around the nations of the world. You are important. Please use your voice. Subscribe, like, share. Click on the notification button so you can get all the alerts of our latest news. Thank you once again. God bless and bye.